Good morning, guys, gals. Ted from Few View Farms here. It is Saturday morning, <clears throat> about 5.45 a.m. And you guys can see how beautiful it is here this morning. Um, we got a nice little bit of uh, sunset in the background coming up. But uh, if you also look, too, our grass has a uh, discoloration of white, meaning that it is cold this morning. Yes, we had uh, frost warnings out. So, it's a little cold, so we had to get the beanie out again this morning. But, uh, already been out here once, uh, was out here about 4 o'clock. Uh, did chores early. Um, like everybody, we are expecting calves and, uh, crunch time. I got a couple that are super, super, really close. I mean, their bags are really taut now. So, it's just a matter of days, minutes, hours, seconds, who knows. So I'm just constantly just checking on them, making sure so uh, <clears throat> we can have everything go the way I want it to go. So we're going to just run out here again really quick. And I uh, just went back in, finished up a cup of coffee, and uh, going to come back out and uh, check on everybody once more. Uh, kind of a nice little fun, exciting day planned. Uh, going to work next door on the uh, new farm. We're going to uh, subsoil slash berry. A, a new gas line to my sister's house it is currently hooked up but it's running on top of ground it was kind of a quick fix that we did for the winter so there was gas to her house well we got to get that buried because my cows are going to be heading over there within the next two weeks i would assume i want to get to finish fixing the fence around that area so we're going to head over there this morning a little bit early and uh, we got everything we need and uh, at least get it buried inside of the pasture so we don't have to worry about the cows uh, puncturing the gas line. So that's what we got going on this morning and uh, I think what I'll do today is I'm just going to take a multitude of clips of uh, my day because there's going to be a lot of things going on and uh, edit it and put it all into one video. So I look forward to just talking to you guys all really, really soon. All right, guys, I just out here again, uh, getting ready, warming up the tractor, and uh, I just thought this was kind of cool. Um, you know, this is a second week of May morning here in uh, western New York, and uh, as you can see, we our cows are on fire this morning. <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna sure, not really sure how well this is gonna show up on camera, but uh, it's pretty cool looking, I guess. No. No. just kind of wanted to share that with you I don't know kind of a little picturesque scenery going on here all right guys gals Ted from PV farms here once more on this wonderful beautiful Saturday morning um, told you guys that we are going to be subsoiling a gas line up over here that runs through the pasture um, I just come up with a Kubota and uh, hooked up the subsoiler um, had to do a little bit of engineering, let's put it. Um, had to take my draw bar hitch out because the top link was too long that was on here for this subsoiler. Because this does have to be pitched on an angle somewhat. So actually what we got going on here, we are actually have a custom piece that we're going to have made here. Or it already is made, I guess. So we knew about this situation the other day because I dry fitted this. Basically, uh, we made another bar like that, but only uh, 16 inches long with two holes drilled in at 12 inches. So it's actually going to bring that up a little bit further, give it more of an angle. So when we drop it down in, we're at the right height. But uh, never ran one of these things. Uh, I'm sure the Kubota is going to be able to handle it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take all... God, it looks like 28 inches at least, if not more, at uh, one swath. But uh, we're going to get her down at least a foot. And that's my plans. So, But uh, we got the subsoiler on. We are ready to go. I got my fancy window uh, kind of draped over to the side so I can see what the hell's going on. Um, uh, this thing is a uh, lean, mean digging machine. Especially in the mud. And that is all that we have. Is mud. So. Just wanted to uh, give you guys a uh, quick, quick heads up. Um, I'm real happy because I just found my selfie stick. 
I was up here in the barn looking around at things and uh, lo and behold there it was laying on the shelf so I'm happy because I get sick and tired of trying to shoot a little bit of video and holding the damn phone so I got my stick back so I'm gonna stop this video quick and uh, we're just gonna keep shooting little bits and pieces of today uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of subsoil in action and uh, I'm sure being on Pewview Farms, there's always fun and exciting things going on, and you guys might be able to capture some more really cool stuff today. So look forward to talking to you guys here pretty soon. Okay, uh, we're just over here back at my house, and uh, we're getting our farm dog. Those of you recall from this winter, I introduced you guys to our farm dog, Benchy. We're getting Benchy out for the day. Uh, we got all the fence tools in there. Stuff that we're going to need, because what's going to happen is when we're subsoil on this line, we're going to be going through fence lines. So it's just easier. I drop the lines off the insulators down to the ground, but we're still going to have to go through them. So I'm going to end up cutting them, then just putting in splices. And we've got a lot of plans to reroute fence and stuff like that in that vicinity. So it'll help. Plus, we've got the chainsaw in there. There's a couple trees that are causing issues over there. So we got everything and anything that we need. That's what's nice and handy about these RTVs, guys, is uh, basically you can fit everything you need to get in there. Um, Four-wheel drive, they're comfortable, and this is going to help a lot, too, from uh, getting back and forth between the house and the gas well because there's going to be disconnections need to be made because the line is live. So we're going to have to shut her down, disconnect it, feed it through the subsoiler, and so on and so on. And it's quite a distance, quite a jaunt, and everything is just saturated muddy. It's a shame we're going to make a mess of uh, my sister's lawn, but uh, it is what it is. This needs to get done, and uh, this isn't one of those weather-permitting jobs anymore. It was before, but it ain't anymore. It's just getting too close to crunch time, and uh, you got to do what you got to do. So we're over here grabbing the farm dog. Okay, we're back over here at uh, the new farm, uh, my sister's place. I think we're just going to start calling this my sister's place because I call it too many way damn things and it's just easier. This is her place. Uh, I'm using it uh, out of good faith. Basically put it that way. We're back over here. Um, I'm just waiting for uh, my father. This is a me and him operation. We're going to be subsoiling this line down today. So just waiting him to come back. He had to do a little bit of work this morning, but I got everything ready to go. So in the meantime, while we're over here, we are going to start redoing some fence and stuff. There is a ton of grass to mow over here. It's a little overwhelming for her. Um, you know, we help her out when we can or, you know, however, you know, we've been helping her out. So basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be cutting grass down. And we're just going to constantly keep creeping our pastures out into the lawn, making them bigger. Uh, you know, we'll be able to get more fo fo foliage out of this for our cows, which is great. Um, it, it's an all win situation basically we win she wins the cows win so basically what i'm gonna start doing this morning i brought my chainsaw over and uh, i'm gonna show you guys really quick hopefully the sun don't really blast you guys too much this is kind of a glimpse from the back side of her house on the other side of the ponds well you can see way up around there is the fence line and the fence line tucks in behind these uh pine trees i would say let's just say 20 yards and then it wraps around back down through here what we're going to do here is I'm going to start clearing this whole edge around the edge of the pond. Cut all the branches and everything up at least five foot so I can get in there. And uh, I am going to reroute that fence that's inside of there all the way along the edge of this. Let the cows clean up that crap and uh, I think it will look much nicer too with these branches trimmed out of the way. It would be a lot easier for us when we're mowing around this pond because I, let me tell you what. I did this uh, here this week and last week, and uh, mowing around this pond is a pain in the ass, especially when it's wet. So I'm going to start trimming these up, and uh, I'll show you guys here really quick uh, when I get done uh, what you know, it starts to look like. So here's just one more really quick view of uh, the mess of hemlocks that we got going on here. And uh, basically, we're just going to start right there at that corner, and I'm going to start working my way all the way around this pond. Not going to get done today, but it's just a filler. I got to stay busy, and uh, that's a good busy project for me. All right, guys, we've gone through one tank of gas already in the uh, steel chainsaw. I wish I could tell you what model it is. I don't pay attention. I just run it and uh, cut shit down. But uh, it don't look like much now, but uh, basically, 
we have made it all the way to, oh, let's say, just say halfway around that uh, cul-de-sac on the pond. And uh, everything has been cut up about six, seven feet. And uh, actually now it's going to be a lot easier to mow around here. You're not dodging these branches. But uh, I think now that uh, I didn't bring any gas with me, and uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, dragging some of this shit and uh, putting it down here somewhere on the flat. And uh, I'm going to make one hell of a weenie roast. But uh, I think my sister's going to appreciate this. Uh, she's still in bed probably. Actually, probably most of the neighbors were in bed until uh, this jackass started running the chainsaw. But, uh, oh well, it's Saturday morning, it's beautiful, what more can you ask for, guys? Especially when you've been cooped up inside all freaking winter long. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start dragging this shit around, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys, because it's actually really neat. It's going to be nice, too, to move this fence here to the outside. I can utilize every one of these pine trees that I, and they're all close enough where it's going to make a really nice tight radius with my insulators and everything. Because you know how that is when you're making a radius, uh, it just pulls a lot of stress. So, it's going to work out pretty good. I and mean, we just extended the pasture a little bit. And it's going to look a lot nicer in there eventually. So, alright guys, stay tuned. Lots more going on today. Alright guys, gals. As you can see, I am winded. Alright, we got the gas line there. We got farm dog. We got my old man, my dad, my pops. Uh, Mr. Q Gordy slash Mr. Q View, whatever you want to call him. What we're doing is we're going to actually start the gas line right there, feed it through the subsoiler back to the house. We're going to leave it up on the ground in the main lawn. Um, it's super, super wet. It's just going to save us from uh, making a bigger, bigger mess. So we'll start the subsoil in that hole that he's digging right now. Um, see, the boat is all set, ready to go. And uh, the gas line's disconnected on both ends, and uh, once we get down to the other end in the woods, I'll show you guys a quick uh, gas well, and uh, hopefully this won't take too long, but uh, <laughs> who knows? Never know how a project can go. Always can go pretty bad pretty quick, so we're going to try to get this thing down at least 20-some inches. Uh, I think that'll be plenty safe. You know, I'm just going to try to bury that subsoil as far as it'll go. You know, we got it. We might as well get it down as far as possible to save any future accidents to happen. So, I just got done pulling the line back from the house here. And uh, we cut the fence so we could get through. And that is easily fixed with these wonderful splices that they make. So, all right, guys, I'll show you, talk to you here in a couple bit, a couple minutes, few minutes, whatever. All right, guys, gals, uh, once more. Yeah, me. You can see my old man heading out with the John Deere. You can see gas line laying on the ground. You can see a shit ton of ruts. All right, well, basically, you guys probably can put two and two together that are uh, engineer-wised. Um, this did not work. The uh, tires on the Kubota are a lot bigger right now than they actually should be. They are caked with about a 1,000 pounds of mud. And... We made it right about there to where, let's just say right there, where the ruts ended. We made it to their subsoiling, and that was only burying it at like three to four inches. Um, that tractor, as soon as it just, it, I'm sorry guys, it's muddy. I honestly thought that uh, it would do it, but uh, <laughs> it's not. So we are going to strike out this plan and go with plan B. Uh, my uncle has a, a nice John Deere skid steer on tracks, and he has a trencher. And uh, he has uh, said that he would be willing to come up and trench this in for us. Um, you know, the only reason, guys, I'm pushing on this is because I want this done. I want my pastures ready to go in two weeks. And that's why I said this shit needed to be done no matter what. Well, I thought the Kubota was a no matter what tractor but uh just didn't have enough traction i mean it's not that it didn't have enough power yeah i told you guys stay tuned i just had a funny feeling i honestly didn't think that that would do that but it's wet what do i expect i don't know. i mean this is really my second year with this tractor i've never had a big four-wheel drive like this and in my mind the damn thing should be able to go through anything and do anything but 
<laughs> dummy me i see these big 9000 series tractors online all the time freaking buried in the mud all the way up to the freaking uh chimney stack so <laughs> if they can do it i guess so can the little one so that's where we're at kind of a bummer but uh, you know what day's not wasted um we are going to finish some shit around here all right guys i'm gonna go back home quick get the gas maybe throw a really quick video together or maybe i'll just keep shooting on throughout the day and uh we'll go from there so stay tuned guys all right guys gals we are doing some shopping for mother's day uh, little tradition here we uh, usually get a couple hanging pots for each of the mothers so we are going to do a little bit of shopping bad Ow. day <laughs> you'll be fine get her we got our fire going now guys took a little bit of uh persuasion but uh we got her liquid persuasion we got her going though i think it'll get hot enough now where we can uh start stoking it with all these uh branches what do you got there moe got a big bass it ain't the one i've been looking for though give it a big old kiss yeah, no. I will. I will. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, your mother will really appreciate that. <laughs> now you're going to turn into a, Fish. a frog. Yeah, right? A frog. Oh, yuck. Nice yeah. catch, though, dude. That's pretty cool. Put it back in for you guys. Yep. We are catch and release operation here, guys. Uh, my sister's wishes. And I'll be honest with you, I don't have a problem with that. That's the last fish I have to clean. And, uh, Never really fancied uh, bass. I don't know why. Just never really been a big fan of bass. Uh, I like walleye and perch. But uh, nice catch, dude. All right, guys, gals. This is the ending of our Saturday evening. We're looking at uh, like 6 o'clock right now. Just got done with dinner. Um, we are done for the day. It's been a long day. Got a lot of stuff accomplished. Uh, we started a lot of projects that we couldn't finish due to uh, unforeseen circumstances, but uh, all in all, it wasn't a bad day. We got a lot of stuff done around the farm. Um, I'm just gonna walk over really quick over here, and I showed you guys the brush and stuff that I was cutting. Well, we got a nice fire going, and uh, yeah, it's gonna make a thousand times difference. Amazing what a chainsaw and a day's work can do. Get a nice little fire started. Eventually, I'd like to get rid of all this stuff right here. Um, just get it right out. It looks like most of it's about dying anyways. But uh, now I can actually get the four-wheeler up through here a lot easier. It's flat up there. And we opened that all up. So, But uh, I told the boys that uh, we were done for the day. So, yes, that looks so, so much better compared to what it was. So now we can move the fence all the way to the outside of the pond right here and uh, give the cows just a smidge more room. It ain't going to be that much, but uh, also we'll have a nice little flat landing up here to uh, get the lawnmower around, people to walk, stuff like that. So, All right, guys, so I just wanted to pop in really quick and uh, tell all you guys uh, thank you for uh, hanging in there. Hope everybody had a wonderful Saturday. and. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys your Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day to everybody, and uh, I look forward to talking to you all real soon.